God loves you. His love for you is unconditional. That never changes. But the consequences you're living in, the lack of faith, the lack of hope, the, the level of fear, the level of insecurity, the, the, the struggle with sin, or the, the, in, the, the cycles that we chase after sometimes, or sometimes just the unknown. Like, okay, I, 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 I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe you do. Like, maybe God told you a month ago or five years ago, here's what I want to do with you. Here's how I want to use you. And we keep struggling with what I'm going to do because we, we, okay, that's not true. That can't be right. So I'm going to do something different. And we keep asking God, you know, how do you want to use me? God, I'm looking for God's will and something, but I don't have peace about anything. I'm just telling you, if you don't have peace, it's the absence of trust. It, God's not giving you, God doesn't give you peace for grins. He gives you peace to guard your hearts and minds and to help guide you. That's what peace, peace is like boundaries. You walk in peace. Well, I don't have peace. Okay, we'll track back when you lost it. I'm living in some consequences. Okay. It didn't make it bad. Are you bad? It just means that you and God need to talk. The word repentance, change your mind, change your direction, change your purpose, so that begins with confession. You gotta first own up that you messed up. God was stirring my heart to do this. God was stirring my heart to respond to this. God, want, and I chose not to. Or God didn't want me to do something, I chose to, whatever. My, my prayer as I talk is that God is individualized in that application to everybody. That whoever you are, wherever you're sitting, and whatever your circumstances is, and that God's gonna speak grace, and he's gonna speak mercy, all that kind of stuff. But that doesn't remove consequences. But the day that God stirs your heart and says, I need you to trust me. We're going to walk out of this now. It's like in the story. I did this for you and I've done this for you and I've done this for you and I've done this for you. The place you're in right now is because you stopped listening to me. You stopped obeying me. I want to provide for you peace that is like a river if you're in a river you know when you're out of the water or on dry land I want to provide peace for you that is that clear that you know when you're walking in peace and you know when you've got out of peace and you're someplace you shouldn't be but where that comes from is when you trust me enough to surrender and when you surrender to me enough to make obedience normal. 